I have filmed a lot of videos in my time and I have never been more scared to film a video. I am so nervous. I'm actually shaking. Here we go. I'm gonna have to just hold my coffee to steady my hands slightly. I feel like I am either about to be sick or possibly pass out at the thought of telling you about this. And for once, it's not just because I am over caffeinated up to the eyeballs. Instead, it's for a much better reason. This time it's because I am sharing some news finally today that means so much to me that my heart just might genuinely explode while I'm sitting here. The thought of you being on the other side of this and finally being able to tell you about this is just so joyful and happy and exciting to me. But I do just have to be really honest for a second and say that the idea of this being public knowledge and not just something that I can quietly keep to myself anymore is absolutely terrifying. I don't think I've ever been so scared in my life, but I suppose what that actually means is that I have done something that really means a lot to me. My first novel, my debut novel, Rewitched, is now available to pre-order. Like, you can head over to your favourite bookseller right now and you can buy my book. <laughs> what the hell is happening? <laughs> I started writing this cosy, autumnal, witchy story all the way back in 2020 when I needed a little bit of comfort and a little bit of escape and I have been working on it around everything else ever since, a lot of late nights and weekends scribbling away. Then three years later I signed a publishing deal with Pam Macmillan back in September of last year and now if you would like to you can pre-order the hardback to land right on your doorstep when it is published in September of this year. September the 19th is publishing day. If you can't tell, while I'm sitting here saying this to you, it feels like some someone else has taken over my body and my voice. I can't believe that I get to say this to you. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm still in complete disbelief that this has happened. I sat and started this story just for myself it's a story that I wanted to read and the whole way through I thought to myself I just want to get to the end and I just want to write a book and maybe at the end if I think it's good enough I'll be so pleased that I've just seen it through to the end and maybe I'll go down the self-publishing route so that my mum can have a copy and I can have a little copy on my bookshelf and it'll just be a little thing crossed off the list that I have always dreamed of doing. So the fact that this has happened in a uh, a slightly different way. I am just still in complete shock and disbelief about it. The whole way through I have just been merrily rolling along um, and now this is making it feel very real um, and honestly I'm so scared but I'm so... I could, I'm just completely delighted and so excited. <laughs> just to try and uh, save my dignity slightly just so that I can curb this emotional breakdown maybe an inch or two. Let me tell you what Rewitched is all about and you can decide whether it might be your cup of tea or not. More appropriately maybe your cup of coffee or not. So Rewitched is the story of Belladonna Blackthorn although she hates being called Belladonna. You can call her Belle. I wouldn't say that she's lost her magical spark completely but she definitely hasn't paid it much attention in a while. Between balancing slightly chaotic work at her very beloved Luna Books where she works while protecting it from her toxic boss who is literally just the worst guy and all the while the tiny little detail of concealing her witchcraft from all the non weesh folk around her. Belle is pretty much completely burnt out at this point. Her teenage years were so full of promise and potential and everyone around her saw really big things for her future. But all the way through her 20s that bright spark was just kind of fading out a little bit without her even really realising that it was happening. And just kind of with everything that life has thrown at her along the way, as life tends to do, perfecting the potential of her own magic has pretty much been the last thing on her mind. But then her 30th birthday arrives and it brings with it an unexpected summons from her coven. And that comes with a trial that will test her worthiness as a witch and she's at risk of losing her magic 
forever. So with the month of October to fix things and try and put things back together, but also with the signs that dark forces might be working against her here, Belle's gonna need all the help she can get from the women in her life, from a really unlikely mentor, and even an infuriatingly handsome watchman who has sworn to protect her. There is found family, there is maybe a little bit of slow burn romance in there, but most importantly to me anyway, this story is a little reminder that you deserve to invest in yourself and your own magic and that your potential, which maybe used to feel infinite and now feels like a faded little flame, um, it hasn't gone anywhere as much as it might feel like it has. It's very much still there. And I hope it is the cosy, autumnal, comforting, nostalgic read that you've been waiting for because I basically wrote the book that I wanted to read, <laughs> to be honest. When the idea first kind of popped into my head and like the spark kind of happened, um, I was just out for a walk. I really liked the idea of this like very haphazard, slightly chaotic, uh, down to earth, very kind of normal witch, like around her thirties, who like had hold of this magic and it was just like burning away inside her. But realistically, what would you, what would we do with magic? Like just between you and me, like what would you actually even do with it? So it would kind of just like burn away inside of you. It would feel as though you weren't using it to create amazing things that were like lying in wait. I just quite like the idea of a witch having to like suddenly confront the idea of what had she actually done with all this magic that everyone told her was burning away inside her and that she could achieve amazing things with. Of kind of getting to 30 and being like, oh crap, what have I actually done? And her being given some kind of push from something or someone to be like, this is, you have to do this because otherwise it's gonna leave you forever. Like you have to put yourself first and refire up that potential and see what you can do with it. Because if you don't do it now, you're gonna lose it forever. Like I just, there was something about that that really hooked me and I just felt like I had to write it and I have. <laughs> I can literally show you it like, here it is, this is it. Rewitched by Lucy Jane Wood. Here we go, look, chapter one, something wicked. <laughs> what else can I tell you about it? Like once I get started, you will just never shut me up. But I wanted to write kind of like a, it was really important to me that it felt like cozy and familiar and comforting and inviting. But I also wanted to have like a kind of fantasy adventure element to it with slightly older characters. Because I think a lot of the time, like it's it's me and you reading those books, but a lot of the time the main characters, like the, the female leads are kind of like teenagers. You know, they're kind of like 18, 19 as they get given these like amazing magical quests. So obviously the main character is just turning 30. She has a best friend who's the same age. Um, and the kind of like supporting cast of characters are all kind of like middle-aged and older. <laughs> Speaking of the characters, I just have to say, I love these characters. They are so precious to me. Um, they are definitely the people that I've hung out with the most over the last three years <laughs> while I've turned into a slight hermit, just kind of like squirreling away at my laptop and at my notebooks. I've hung out with these guys a lot over the past couple of years. Um, and I'm just so excited for you to meet them. If this sounds like, you know, a book that you might enjoy. I'm so excited for you to meet these characters. I really hope that they kind of jump off the page for you and that they feel real because they feel very real to me. Having spent a lot of time with them, it's very confusing to me that these people <laughs> are actually just something that's come out of my head because they seem to make their own decisions and say their own words. Like I don't really have a lot to do with it. They seem to very much do it themselves when I've been sitting writing this. I know a lot of you will wanna know about the romance <laughs> involved in this. Um, I would say, I don't think you could call this book a romance. I definitely wanted that to be like a part of Belle's story, but I actually think this is more, it sounds a little bit cheesy when I say this, but I actually think it's really accurate that this is a story about love in all of its different forms. So whether that is special friendships, mother-daughter, love in grief, uh, self-love. And yes, of course, there is a little sprinkle of romance in there because, I mean, what can I say? I'm an old romantic, okay? And obviously I don't wanna give too much away and this is just a quick little video 
to let, to let you know that this is real and this has happened. Um, I'm sorry that I cried. <laughs> I, knew that, I knew it was going to happen because I actually haven't really talked a whole lot about this out loud with anybody really. I've only kind of told my very closest people um, what this process has been like and kind of let them in on it. It's felt so, so deeply personal and I was so afraid that it was just going to not happen at any moment. The whole way through I have been convinced that something was going to go wrong and stop this from happening. Like I just haven't let myself believe that it's real. Telling you guys this feels real. <laughs> A little too real, perhaps. The key words have always been to me. I've had them on post-it notes all around me the whole time. Cozy, familiar, comforting, nostalgic. And for me, the really obvious starting point for something like that was always going to be magic. <laughs> and I mean the type of magic that just feels warm and fuzzy and all-encompassing. And it feels like candlelight while you're reading it or watching it. It's always been such a vital part of my childhood and my experience of stories and storytelling, which is so precious to me. That kind of magic has always been such a vital core of everything that I've enjoyed. So it just makes so much sense to me that this is the story that has literally made my lifelong dream of being an author like, come true. <laughs> oh, honestly, I am not okay, but I am so happy that I can finally tell you this. So, Rewitched is now available to pre-order. So, that's kind of like, well, oh, the other thing that I should probably tell you <laughs> is that it's actually a two book deal. I've signed a two book deal. So there will also be another one next year. <laughs> a small detail. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet in this one because I don't want this to seem like overwhelming or I absolutely don't want this to seem like I'm, you know, kind of bragging or boasting about this or... but also at the same time like I really want to celebrate this and I am... So, I'm honestly I'm so proud of myself which I'm sure you're exactly the same as me because we're all literally the same person around here. I never let myself think that. That is never a, a thought that I allow to enter into my head because um, I just don't, I just never, I just never feel proud of myself for anything. But this, I, I do feel really proud of myself. So I've been so excited to tell you about it. Honestly, I have not been very good at keeping it a secret. I feel like this is the worst kept secret of all time. I'll do a vlog in a couple of days time. And now that kind of it's out there and I can say like, what do you want to know about it? Like, would you like more insight into the process or what are your biggest questions about it? Anything like that. Maybe I can sit and have like a more in-depth proper chat about it. It is probably an under-exaggeration to say that there is 40,000 million thoughts running through my head at once at the moment while I am so excited to tell you about this. So I can't even remember if I've told you everything that I need to tell you, but I think I have. You can now pre-order Rewitched. Um, it is officially published on September the 19th. So if you do pre-order, it will land on your doorstep on September the 19th. Kind of perfect timing because it's going to arrive just in time for spooky season to kick in for your October reading session. Oh, and I should probably say as well, pre-order is really, really like crucial and important for authors. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to like be able to pitch myself as an author. I've I don't think I'm ever going to be able to give myself that tagline because it's just always been too much of a bucket list dream thing. I don't think that'll ever sink in. But anyway, I'm rambling. Pre-ordering is really important for authors and kind of just like creative stuff in general because with books anyway, um, all pre-orders count towards the first week of sales, which is obviously like um, a big kind of make or break thing a lot of the time. So I would, I would be so grateful if you would like to read Rewitched um, and a pre-order would be incredible. Like, that would be so, so helpful and supportive. So I would really, really appreciate that. And thank you so much if you do choose to pre-order it. Please do let me know if you do, because I would love to say thank you directly, obviously. And I hope you enjoy it as much as I have enjoyed writing it because it has honestly been 
one of the greatest joys of my life. It is very much nostalgia, 90s inspired, Sabrina, Hocus Pocus, Charmed, Gilmore Girls, Practical Magic, Hermione Granger, Matilda, all of these magical witchy figures that have been so influential and guiding and important to me since I was tiny have all been inspirational while I've been writing this as I've really tried to recapture that feeling for us now. Those little girls that loved magic then that still do now and that still kind of relate to that sensation and kind of maybe it sounds a bit crazy but kind of feel it in their bones a little bit that is what i hope this is and i think on that note <laughs> maybe that's a good note to end on so there you go told you i had something big to tell you <laughs> i will leave the link in the description box if you would like to pre-order my debut novel rewitched and i will see you very soon with another video Bye.